Hey, what's going on? I got a hot tip of the day for the GrowWatt 5000 ES off-grid inverter. So the situation is that my generator supplying line to this off-grid application um, is trying to overpower the solar and the solar is only pushing 1.3 amps on this really crappy day and we're trying to rob as much from the generator as possible. So we're at 20 amps AC input right now and it's trying to charge fit, uh, 65 amps into the battery bank. The situation is when the house is pulling, let's say, you know, more than 37% like it is now, let's say 50% on certain surges, it will cause the generator to kick off and then the inverter disconnects. And it does this in an aisle uh, and it starts to get aggravating. So how we fix the situation is we just go press down the enter button for three seconds. We go down to code 11, as you can see over here, not code 11, but you know, um, category 11. And what we're going to do is we're going to go switch this back to 45 amps or 44, whatever, you know, adjust your down charge cycle from AC input. All right. So what that does is it gives me an extra 10 amps to throw towards the house in case of surges. Now, I was at 65 amps going into the system, right? Just a second ago. So now I'm at. 54.6 so I dropped the amps down going dropping into the battery which is fine uh, the generator is supplying load to heat um, and other accessories that I'm needing as of right now later on I'll go ahead and switch that back by pressing that down going back to 11 Oops, did it again and then switch that back to 55 just like we did right or whatever number that you are um, currently running on because this is kind of a uh, trial and error game when you're playing with these things over a period of time so I got 95% charge now some people will try to change this one and it is the charge cycle for 100 amps now that will fluctuate between 100 amps and 50 amps depending on where your battery level is right now mine's at you know 79 percent so it's going to accept 100 percent charge until the batteries are charged uh that's how it's programmed and then once it drops off this will drop off to 50 amps or 60 or just uh, accordingly but how to bypass that is just code 11. anyways that's the tip of the day hope you enjoy